Hey guys, welcome back to the Wall Street Bull. Anthony here. I hope you're all doing well and staying positive out there. Guys, I'm extremely bullish on crypto. It is absolutely flying today, which is really nice. We've got some updates in relation to Ripple and XRP. We also have some interesting stuff happening with Luna classic as well we're going to go through everything and give you a market update right now massive shout out and thank you to every single one of you who have subscribed to the channel i really appreciate it thank you very much if you are new to the channel make sure you smash the subscribe button down there and turn on that little bell notification as well because as you can see right here i love documenting my journey with investing with cryptos dividend stocks growth stocks talking about passive income building financial freedom and yes my goal at the end of the day is to build generational wealth so come along this incredible journey we are just getting started also if you can give this video a thumbs up watch it straight through it would really help me push this channel out to a lot more people because the youtube algorithm is absolute magic when you find ladies and gentlemen do that so give the video a thumbs up it is down there it is free it doesn't cost you anything you guys rock also little disclaimer i am not a financial advisor please do your own research and due diligence with this stuff i do not want to see anyone get financially hurt that's why my number one golden rule is i only invest what i can afford to lose and yes we don't like to lose you can lose money like that in the blink of an eye in crypto all right so please be careful out there do your own research and due diligence. This video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the formalities are out of the way. It's been a pretty chaotic day here today. Let's go straight to the community tab. And Luna is up 65% at the moment. Uh, you know, it's going crazy from some news from Binance. We're going to get through that as well. And uh, obviously, I've started the Wall Street Bull University right here, guys. The Patreon link is there. I'm putting everything up, crypto, dividend stocks, what I'm doing in my other businesses as well. It's full on. It's for serious people. I love talking with everyone in there, guys. And I am building a monster, bullish community. All right. So the link is in the community tab and linked below as well. What else we got here, guys? Okay, this was earlier today. We had Luna up 42% this morning. Luna, uh, Luna 2.0 was up 17% as well. You had TLM as well, 9%. Anchor Protocol at 7.8%. And Constellation DAG at 3.8% as well. Incredibly bullish on Constellation DAG as well. They are partnered with the United States Air Force, all right? So very, very interesting project. Now, let's go to CoinSpot. This is where I buy my cryptos in Australia, by the way. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a referral link below. Please feel free to use that. You will get $10 in Bitcoin. Of course, do your own research with this stuff. All these prices you see here are in Australian dollars. Everything else is set to USD because I'm catering for, catering for everybody around the world, including my Aussie fans, all right? So everything else is set to USD. Now, Bitcoin sitting at 31,000 Australian dollars today, up nearly 7%, which is really nice. Ethereum's up as well, 2,100. Thank you. I put $1,000 in before the merge happened and I'm slowly getting back up there. So... That's doing quite nicely as well. I'm staking that on CoinSpot. Now, XRP's up nearly 2% to $0.76. Cents. Cardano's at $0.72. Cents. Solana's at $54. Dogecoin at $0.09 cents as well. Polkadot, $10. Maddox, $1.23. Shiba Inu's up 3.38% as well. I'm still holding that. Moving down, you've got Adam at $23. Lynx at $13. Some other favorites here. Near Protocol at $5.98. Stellar's at $0.18. Cents. Algorand is up to $0.58 cents today. Day. Luna Classic still pumping at 45%. That is very, very nice. I could take profits out of that. I really could, honestly. It'd be nice, but no, I'm just going to hold it and see what happens, all right? Uh, v Chain is at $0.03 cents as well. Quant is up nearly 4% today to $196. $196. You could have bought this the other day at $170, if not $168, I believe it was. So quite nice right there. Hedera's at $0.09 cents as well. Mana and Sandbox, again, $1.14, $1.39. Theta's at $1.81. Ax oh, sorry, let's have a look here, guys. Axe Infinity's at $12, oh, $20 right now, which is nice. I need that to go back up to $80 because that's where I was buying it at. Iota's at $0.49. Cents. You've got the graph at $0.16 cents as well. Phantom, $0.37. Cents. Engine, I am looking to add that very soon at $0.76. Cents. Let's have a look here. Waves at $6. Keep moving down. XDC sitting at $0.04, cents, still an undervalued gem. They are making some bullish moves as well, ladies and gentlemen. So do not discard that one. Luna 2.0, 12.6% as well. I received that with an airdrop, basically. So I didn't pay for that. 
Uh, RSR is at one cent, Oasis Rose at nine cents, and of course, Gala at six cents. Now, the other one, again, I talk about regularly is Reef, currently up 0.99% to under a cent. And of course, XYO, definitely some flies here, guys, at 4% as well. I did buy this before it got listed on Coinbase, and it just went parabolic at that time. And I saw some price predictions as well that both Reef and XYO will at least 10 to 15 times. All right, so I uh, keep that in mind. Now, let's go to crypto bubbles. On the day, Luna Classic right now, up 42%. All right, this is one I've just started trading on three commas. Straight up, I am trading on three commas. It's doing quite nice. 42% on the day, 116% on the month. There's some interesting stuff happening with Do Kwon as well, all right? So let me know in the comments below if you're still holding Luna. Neo as well, I did buy this. I really, really like this. It is a layer one project, currently at $9 as well. Um, I did put $1,000 into this, I don't know, if, oh, poor, before the bull run anyway. So uh, I'm still holding that, guys. And I received gas as well, the token that uh, gets paid out when you're holding Neo as sort of like a passive income thing. 13.9%, 12% on the week, 3.4% on the month, all right? What else we got here, ladies and gentlemen? Some of the big ones, GMT stepping up 10% today, still up 346% on the year, which is crazy. Let's have a look at Link. Uh, that is doing nicely as well, 7.5% on the day, 27% on the month, which is really nice, all right? So um, Ethereum as well, 5.9%, not doing that too great, all right, in the last couple of uh, days, obviously after the merge, has not been doing too good. But, you know, all time, let's just have a look here, guys. $4,793. So, not a bad return. I mean, I think it will surpass that in the future, but uh, we'll see how we go. Now, let's move on to some news. Now, we have the Australian Reserve Bank here, obviously releasing uh, the CBDC Pilot Digital Finance Innovation right here. So, they have started to release this for CBDCs. This is happening around the world, not just in Australia, but around the world. So again, they have released this just recently, guys. So the emergence of a tokenized economy. Use, look at the words they're using here. Tokenized economy offers the potential to deliver new economic and social value, thereby contributing to the welfare of Australian people. CBDCs is a digital form of money issued as a liability of the central bank. The project intends to test the general purpose of CBDCs issued as a liability of the RBA, the Reserve Bank of Australia, for use in real-world pilot implementations of services offered by Australian industry participants. Any compelling use case, whether so-called wholesale or retail, will be explored in the project. All use cases proposals submitted by industry participants will be used to inform assessments of the rationale for the Australian CBDC. A limited number of these use cases will also be selected for pilot operation where implementation in a short time frame is feasible. A white paper is provided to describe the project and invite industry participation. Whoa, it's full on. This is what's happening. All right, pay attention. Now, XRP whales move massive batches of crypto sending $130 million in flurry of transactions. So again, we're going to be seeing this a lot more. So XRP whales have been spotted moving huge bags of crypto as Ripple's lawsuit with the US Securities Exchange Commission takes a new turn. First reported by blockchain tracking service Whale Alert, a handful of XRP whales moved over $130 million in crypto over the course of the two days this weekend. In less than 48 hours, Whale Alert reported six transactions totaling 263 million XRP worth about 130 million dollars at the time of transfers. Look at this. Look at all these XRP transactions. Look at this. 40 million, 60 million, 54 million, 25 million, 30 million, 54 million guys. The series of transfers comes as blockchain analytics firm Sentiment says that the deep pocket XRP holders, deep pocket, have been coming to life with renewed optimism surrounding the Ripple lawsuit with the SEC. There's some bullish stuff happening, guys. I mean, I'm seeing a lot of positivity in this space. Now, some other stuff about this, guys. Have a look at this. Wait for this to uh, load here, guys. The XRP Daily Central Bank CBDC project announcement being led by Ripple Executive. This is happening in Australia, guys. Ripple is partnered with these guys, all right? So the white paper for CBDC's project has just been released a few hours ago at the time of publishing this article. This CBDC project is confirmed to be sponsored by the Reserve Bank of Australia, 
which again is us Aussies Reserve Bank here, Central Bank. The program director of CBDC Pilot Project is a former Ripple executive, Dilip Rail, right here. And there, there is a video um, I'm going to play you on Twitter as well. You got to watch this, all right? So he worked at Ripple since 2014 before he left the company in 2019. Although with this latest development, we could assume he's still being championed by the XRP ledger in his lead role in the Australian CBDC pilot project, guys. This is bullish. Now, some other updates here, guys. So, again, sorry, that's not that one there. Let's have a look at this one here. Now, I just want to point out, um, Dilip, his name is Rael. Um, he did mention that Ripple is just, you know, not going after the small time guys. They're going after a $27 trillion industry. All right. And I believe I did this as well earlier. Let's just have a look at this. All right. And I know they're going to get the coin, you know, market cap people in here going, oh, it doesn't mean anything. But if I go $27 trillion, let's just have a look at this for, for an argument's sake. All right. So $27 trillion, There it is there. XRP value would be $541, all right? So I've been seeing the 589 flying around everywhere, guys, for a long time. It would be an upside of 1,148x times. So $541 per XRP token is, in my opinion, very well, you know, achievable. It can be achieved and it can be done, all right? So keep an eye on it. Now, some other stuff about Ripple. I'm all about Ripple these days and I have been for a long time because I'm incredibly bullish on it, guys. How this Ripple partner launched a crypto payment solution in Argentina. So Bitso will roll out its new payment solution in Argentina. The product, product will enable users in Latin American country to access the first QR code payment system in the region powered by XRP and other cryptocurrencies. So Bitso is one of the largest exchanges in the region with over 5 million users. In Argentina alone, the platform onboarded over 1 million customers that will be able to make QR code crypto payments in certain regions as of tomorrow, which is nice. The product will expand to, uh, to the entire country in the coming months. So we may see a large volume of XRP moving. Again, this is just the beginning. Now, Terra Luna Classic enjoys hefty uptick as Binance introduces incredible Lunas, Lunk, Lunts, Lunk, I hate that name, but anyway, burn mechanism. So you guys, check this out. The world's largest cryptocurrency exchange by trading volume in Binance announced Monday that it would be burning all trading fees accrued by the company on Terra Classic spot and margin trading pairs, obviously against BUSD and USDT. The trading commission on Luna C spot and margin trading pairs from the previous week will be converted into Luna C and automatically sent to a burn address every Monday at you know, UTC, UTC time right there, double zero, double zero, double zero. Anyway, the report on burn, the following on-chain burn transaction ID will be updated every Tuesday. The first batch of trading fees to be burnt will be calculated on September 21st uh, to October 2nd. The support, uh, surprising decision comes after the abandonment of the exchange's prior plan to introduce a flat trading tax rate of 1.2% for all Lunar Classic trading after opt-in traders each 50% of the total Lunar C trading volume on the exchange. Binance CEO CZ, aka CZ, yes, noted that the opt-in proposal would take a lot of time to implement and was also met with skepticism right here by Lunar C community. As such, the exchange decided to come up with a new solution to help the community bring down Lunacy's bloated circulating supply. That's bullish. So I'm holding that. So let me know in the comments below if you're actually holding it a game. Interpol seeks arrest of failed crypto firm boss Do Kwon. Interpol is massive, guys. The international police. So it has asked the law enforcement agencies around the world to find and arrest Do Kwon, founder of failed cryptocurrency Terra. You know, I don't know. You know, he's not involved anymore with Luna Classic. The developers have taken over now. So uh, BBC Korea says the red notice has been issued for 31-year-old who was accused of fraud over the company's $40 billion collapse. An arrest warrant was issued in his native South Korea earlier this month. Do Kwon flew to Singapore in May before Terra crashed, but the authorities say he's no longer there. Where is he? And I think I just saw a Twitter update just recently about that he was found. All right, I'm going to have a look at that as well. Now, IOTA to feature new token as price spikes with 900% volume inflow. IOTA, banking coin, all right? Crazy, crazy stuff. So uh, IOTA staging network is set to go live within the next 48 hours. 
Price is seeing a modest gains against the backdrop of another crypto assets, which is recording losses presently. At the time of publication, it's trading at 30 cents, up 7.68% in the last 24 hours and 18% on the uh, past week, guys. IOTA was also demonstrating a 955% increase in trading volumes in, at present time. Keep an eye on IOTA, guys. It is a banking coin. Now, if I go to CryptoMeter.io, let me have a look here, guys. Let's go here. Solana, Polkadot right here. You've got Bitcoin, Ethereum, Luna Classic, of course, BNB, uh, Ethereum name service. Do we have XRP there today? No, we don't. But I'm still bullish on it, guys. Now, let's go to Twitter because I want to play you this interview here with the former uh, executive there from Ripple. And I think you all need to hear this. All right, you really do. Now, where is it? Keep moving down right here. Listen to this, guys. Listen. What we're using with banks today, today is something based on the interledger protocol because we use the public ledger. But ultimately, when they use XRP for liquidity, that's when the two will, mm -hmm. will converge. So from a use case point of view, we think uh, we still have a, a solid platform, mm -hmm. you know, a solid base as to what is be the problem being solved. Is it a big problem? And who is ultimately going to use XRP? And in our case, we think it's going to be financial institutions. Mm -hmm. It's going to be market makers who want to come in and play in that business. And it's a huge, as I mentioned, a $27 trillion yeah. you know, uh, base uh, that is there today. So if you go by that, uh, I'm not selling my XRP. Right. Did you hear what he just said? I'm not selling my XRP. Did I not say I'm not selling my XRP? Why? Because it's going to go parabolic. It really will. Now... <laughs> guys moving back up here let's have a look at some news on twitter quickly where are you let's go right to the top all right so just in the total value locked in ethereum 2.0 deposit contract surpasses 14 million eth that is ridiculous i remit expands partnership with ripple and further leverage on demand liquidity for treasury management guys that is huge just in twenty thousand dollar bitcoin since my AMA on Friday, we've had a number of discussions about how Binance can better support the Lunar Sea community's request for tax burns, TX uh, transactions tax burns right here. The last thing I said was that we will implement an opt-in button. This has since changed old blog for reference, guys. This is bullish as anything, all right? So three things are the Lunar Classic community wasn't happy with the approach. It is going to take a while to develop. It's not going to work anyway. Our traders won't vote for it. Since then, we are discussing a better, quicker way to support the community, which again, they're doing the burn. Bullish as anything. Now, David Schwartz here, guys, is very interesting what he's put up. He finally managed to learn my way around Sologenix DEX system. Funny that I can't use Joel Katz as, in, as my short name because it's reserved. Sologenix NFT marketplace right here, guys. So that's very interesting right there. NASA has officially smashed a satellite into a... Uh, whoa, what is this, an asteroid? Yeah, it is an asteroid. There you go. I thought it was a comet, but that's full on. Bullish as anything, guys. It's unbelievable. Anyway... Again, another 1 million Aussies will buy crypto and Bitcoin in 2023. So this is why I'm so bullish on it. Again, the university here, guys, check it out. Now, the central bank, thank you, uh, the light shines in the darkness for this tweet. The central bank of Bahrain sees a lot of utility in XRP. This is insane. Look at this property review uh, bureau right here. Shaharia, Sharia advisor licensed by the central bank of Bahrain. XRP is also obviously used to provide on-demand liquidity for Ripple's flagship RippleNet service, a global payments network of financial institutions that was originally three separate products prior to 2009, XCurrent, a real-time settlement solution, XRapid, a liquidity solution, and XVIA, a payment API. Use cases, Forex, escrow, Real-time gross settlements, payment for digital goods, and other, obviously, you can see here, nearly instant products, P2P purchases, central bank IOU, decentralized exchange, online voting, guys, that's just the beginning for Ripple. And uh, Caroline Pham, who obviously went to the offices of Ripple, is now speaking tomorrow at Quarter Con right here. Very interesting. We all know what Quarter does. If you don't, go look it up. XDC, the leading blockchain-based financial markets infrastructure and products company, uh, you can see here, Serenci right here announced that it will deploy its proprietary digital asset comp uh, composer on the Sinfin network. Don't sleep on XDC, guys. That's all I'm saying. Wells Fargo says the market bottom has not been established and stocks will make lower lows in 2023. I'm going to be buying the dip. 
And XRP, guys, Quant is doing what XRP tried to do. And I'm still bullish on Quant. It is up significantly today. Go watch that interview. What else we got here, guys? California issues cease and desist against crypto lender Nexo over unqualified securities. Full on. And the fear and greed index is sitting at 20 right now. That's pretty much it for the news, guys. Let's go to Coin Market Cap. And again, $956 billion total, $79 billion in total volume, 39% BTC, 7%, 17% Ethereum. And of course, my portfolio that I gain, I'm so bullish on guys of the banking coins, all right? This is where the money's going right now for me anyway. Ethereum, I do hold that. I put $1,000 into it just for fun. XRP, Cardano, XLM, Algorand, Quant, Hedera, IOTA, XDC, Casper, and Alliance Block. And I will buy Casper this weekend as well, guys. So that's where my money's going. That's it for pretty much today's market update. Thank you very much for sticking around. Make sure you follow me on all socials. And again, if you are willing to join the Patreon, there's a link below and the community tab, all right? Stay safe, guys. We'll speak to you tomorrow. Peace out. Bye.